Next, we'll fit the magnetic rotor onto and over the stator. So you'll take that magnetic rotor, which you separated from the stator earlier, place it on a flat surface. The extractor cap or knob that you removed earlier as well from the end of the, um, of the shaft now needs to be clipped in to the outside end of the magnetic rotor. So place it on there, give it a good pop, and it's on. You'll pick up that magnetic rotor and look inside at the magnets to see whether they've attracted any bits of foreign uh, ferrous material, any bits of metal, and anything that might interfere with the, um, the running of it. And just use your thumb, in my case I use my thumb to just push any, any of it off. Looks clean to me. So I'll put that back down, just on top of the knob for now. And it's far, far easier to do this job if you bring your turbine back into its upright position. Like this. So I put it in its upright position. I then grab the stator and the knob. With my other hand, I'm going to grab the end of the shaft or the Pelton runner. And I'll bring that up and over the shaft. This is where I give it a bit of a wiggle until I can feel that it's seated home. And this is why it's useful to have your hand on the other end. So I turn it until it's home. Then I turn the extractor knob clockwise till it threads onto the end. I just keep turning until it's fully home. Those magnets are now starting to cover the, the poles at the end of the stator. Final tightening. There it is. And let's give it a spin, eh? Now that's a sound I like. If you heard a scratching sound in there, it might be that there was in fact some metal material, some filings or something that got in there. So what you'd do is you'd grab the shaft again with your other hand and just undo that knob. In fact, what I do is I, I hold the rotor while I unscrew the knob and that also backs it off. And I would take it off, have another look at the magnets, clean them, and then reinsert it, tighten up again until you hear that sound. Mm.